Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Before I give you my presentation, uh, I'm gonna show you a video which is a little bit related to my topic. I would like to say. Download the app, which is free, and then you prove to the app that you have the required Osmo parts. Now the app contextualizes coding with uh, a character named Aldi, and your your goal is to help Twitter collect strawberries in order to prove that you own the kit. You have to put these two parts together and snap nicely, and then the app uh, goes to the rest of the program. Now there are a lot of challenges that start easy and get harder as you move your creature through the maze. I really appreciated how you, the, uh, the app shows you in real time what your path is. You see that those lily pads are highlighted and that's a really nice touch. Now we noted some weaknesses that you need to know about with this. Uh, for example, it does not work in an iPad Pro and uh, it's an exclusive use of your iPad. You can take it out of the case and so on. It also drains the battery, but in general, this is the, the tangible aspect of this it is certainly noteworthy. You can read more in the review of Children's Technology Review. I'm more about that here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. is introducing a tool uh, for coding to consumer who don't know what is the code, who don't know what the programming is. Uh, do you think that is a little bit sort of hard for normal people? How do you think about it? No? No, no not hard. No, not a little hard. bit esoteric? Hard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most people have a that coding is very esoteric and very hard. And on top of that, they are only belong. They are um, they're thinking the coding is only up to coding only belong to mystery maker. Mm -hmm. So because of uh, because of that reason, I gonna talk about why should we. Uh, I gonna talk about why we should want to code. <laughs> uh, this is my roadmap. Uh, yeah, the first one I would like to say is the what is the programming. And then meaning the program is meaning is same same. Then meaning is the same as coding. And the second one, why should we learn to code? And so last one is I gonna introduce a computer language which could be very very easy for you. But unfortunately, that is my guest. <laughs> okay. Okay. The first one, what is the programming? What is the programming? Could you give me your mm -hmm. opinion about that? Hard thing. What is the problem? <laughs> Difficult thing. Hard 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 thing. It's like this. Programming is the process of the taking an algorithm and encoding it. Blah, 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 blah. Do you understand the meaning? Algorithm. I don't know <laughs> the meaning. Even though my major is computer engineering. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is the what is the algorithm and encoding? What? Oh, it's very hard. It's very hard to understand for me too. So, because of this reason, I make it this. Uh, I make this sentence short by using my professor speaking, the program meaning is like this. Maybe a software by using algorithm. That's it. It's very simple. And at this moment, maybe everyone have a question like this. What is the algorithm? Have you ever think about this meaning? OK. The algorithm, uh, my professor, uh, my professor teaching me the uh, teaching me about uh, the meaning of algorithm. That is the kind of there is a one of the process to solve the problem in computer. It's like it's like debugging, or uh, it's like 
debugging is the correcting error. That means the correcting error is like the computer is processing uh, operating a so, uh, operating a software, but sometimes the error is comes out. But this time we this time we try to uh, modify the modify the code. Yeah, it's like that. That means to debug, and then yeah. Of course, it is most that most of people have this kind of question. Okay, I know what uh, why is the ah, but the meaning of programming is, but I don't understand why should we why we should want to code. Uh, as I it's like uh, as I uh, as, you, as I see your video, uh, this like some part is easy, but another part is seems uh, seems very very hard for me why why we should run to code because of that i gonna tell you why should we run to code why we should run to code linda lucas uh, who is a programmer and started programming at the tender age of 14 uh, he said like this mm. code is the next universal language uh, in the 17s, uh, in the 17s, uh, it was punk music that drove the whole generation. In 80s, it was probably money, but for my generation of people, the software is an interface to our imagination and our work. Do you understand the meaning clearly? Of course, me too, and I heard her speaking at first, because because her meaning is a little bit very very. It's buggy. It's buggy for everyone. So, because of the reason, I organized. I organized this. The first one we have to run to code is software is up to find our work. This meaning the software is eating our work. Uh, if I have to um, explain more detail, uh, maybe you know. Um, if I have to make an example. Uh, maybe you have a yeah on the uh, the screen on the refrigerator, uh, which is pointing out, which is pointing out the what food is shortage, uh, what food is the label. And that is the example, one of the example. That means that we can see the software all of the all of our life. It's like, for example, uh, all of our life. So because of that, we have to run to code to understand what is that and what is that. And how is that work? And then the second reason to know how to use a software. Maybe some some of people don't understand why this talk. Why this reason is a little bit related. Uh, uh this uh this reason is related to why related to this topic. Why we should want to call Linda. Rika said like this. Uh, we have a bit uh, said like this. We have a bit layers and layers of abstraction on top of each other, on top of each other, man and machine. And to the point that we no longer have any idea, have any have any idea how computer works, and then how to talk, how to speak to that. That meaning is. If you don't know what is the what is the code, what is the programming, um, maybe a little bit um, in the future, we don't know how to use the software well. Yeah, <laughs> as a theory, uh, the theory of this topic is a little bit hard. Or uh, yeah, and then at this moment. Most of my people, uh, most of people have a question like this. Okay, I understand why we should run to code. The first reason is the software is software is existing, existing on, on all of our life. And the second reason the to use software, to, uh, to use software we would like to use well. But, yeah, I, I understand. But. If I wanna, if I wanna learn to code, uh, if I wanna learn to code, we have to, we have to know computer language at first. But maybe, maybe you 
the conjugation rate is so hard and so hard, and then we have to know conjugating the syntax or conjugating the syntax in computer language. So, because I want to break the uh, breaking, I, because I want to break the bridge of this, I'm going to introduce a computer language which could be easy for you. The first language is scratch language. The scratch language, the, the, pro, uh, the scratch, the program language, is the, is kind of educational programming language for children or anyone who don't who don't know what computer is. <coughs> yeah, that is like okay. Before I give them information more, I gonna show you a video about this. Make a you want to make a program which is the which is the cat uh, which is the for example the cat on the ground is moving. You want this kind of program and you want this kind of software. If you want this kind of software, I just told you this program is the based on based on block. It's based on block programming. First, you take out the you take out the block which is uh, which uh, which have a command to computer. It's like uh, I have. Uh, I wanna express computer on my screen. Take it, and then you have. And then you ch uh, you can ch uh, you can take another block. This uh, this block meaning uh, this block has commander, which is uh, which is that. I wanna express. I wanna express cat movement. You can take it, and then you can combine and drop it on the uh, and drop it on the programming seat. and that's it. You can make a software like this, as I already mentioned. This is a little bit, uh, this is a little bit, yeah. This is a very, very easy for everyone to use and make it. And then, of course, if you, you can make it another, uh, you can make it another reason. Uh, you can make it another purpose. It's like you wanna, you wanna make a calculator, and then you wanna make a, a list, right? List which is about. Uh, to do list, it's like to do list for today or tomorrow or next day. Or yeah, this and this rank is very popular for almost every world, especially for kids, especially for kids who don't know what computer is and then who started programming first and at right first and in their uh, in their life. And then I gotta introduce another language is Java. Do you know Java? I think most of the people has already know most of the people already have already know that this kind of language is Java. Maybe you you heard that Java and JavaScript and Android. Java is the very oldest programming language in our it's a, no, it's in our world. Yeah, which is developed by Oracle. Which is developed correctly. Uh, if I have to more clearly, this 
get the all these accessories. It's not it's not all this like it's very very yes yeah, very, very old language. It's very old language, but the Oracle is updating their, their updating their uh, updating Java languages and more and more. And then yeah, the, that language is about based on based on web application. It's like web. I mean, if you wanna make a uh, if you wanna make a software which is about uh, which is about web, web, you can use this Java. Actually, uh, the language which is very very close to which is uh, which is very close to web application is JavaScript. But JavaScript is based on Java. So I mean, if you wanna uh, if you wanna uh, if you have already know Java language. You can uh, you can understand Java language so easily. And of course, Java language is the uh, Java language is, is the based on Android application. I mean, if you wanna uh, you can make I mean, if you wanna make a uh, if you want application for your phone, okay, you can you can use it Java language for making an application. The last one. The last word language I got to say is C++. <laughs> yeah, that language is like it's like option. It's like option because uh, maybe some people, some people are very very interested in virtual realism and then 3D and 3D games. So okay, before I give more information, I'm gonna show you a video. It's about virtual realism. <laughs> region and 3D and 3D games or creating creating a creating a 3D image or processing image for uh, interesting processing image I want you, I want you I, I recommend you I recommend you learn C++ language yes code is uh, maybe as I already mentioned in my in my presentation code is the next universal language. Maybe very close to the future, the rank the programming language is very, very common language, common language for everyone. And even though they are even though they are child or they are they they are a person who don't know what computer is. So if we wanna uh, if you wanna be a um, person who who is thinking of future we, I think we have to, uh, we have to run what program is and how to run to code. Thank you.